Hi, my name's Katie. I love reading. I love baking with my kids. Life for me growing up was really nice. Like I grew up in a Christian family. I actually gave my heart to Jesus when I was, I think I was about 12 or 13 years old. And then I hit year 11 and I, that's when I started wagging. I started hanging out with a girl that was really no good for me. And that's the year I lost my virginity, started smoking a bit of weed and started doing a lot of drinking and stuff, like just to sort of fit in. It was never what I wanted to do. I always felt like I had to, I had to fight for people's attention and had to be loud, had to be that person that would just, you know what, be the life of the party because that was, that was all I had going for me. And I really did build my identity around that and that's, that's what led me into, into my addictive behaviours. When I was 18, I met who would soon be my boyfriend. I fell head over heels and I fell pregnant. Found out that the baby that I was pregnant with had quite a few problems and I had to choose to either keep him or to, I could terminate the pregnancy, but to terminate the pregnancy, I actually had to give birth to him. And so I gave birth to a stillborn and then buried him. So that was tough. And from there, that's when I spiralled really down into, into what led into a 17 year addiction of different types of drugs, of sex, of you name it, and anything just to make me not feel anything. I met my soon-to-be husband at the pub. He was someone who had drugs all the time as well, so that kind of just instigated a more a relationship based around fun, based around that. There was connection, there was great, there was connection, and I loved him, and he loved me, and we were together for probably two years before we got married. And when we got married, I fell pregnant within three months to my beautiful, beautiful daughter. Um, she's just the light of my life, she's gorgeous. <laughs> and Cooper, I fell pregnant with him two, two years after. But it was in early years of motherhood that my deep drug addiction started. I needed to stop drinking, I needed to stop everything. Coming into transformations, it was scary, but it took me coming here and actually being able to step out of myself for a moment and go, righto, what's the big picture here? Who's, 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 who are you fighting for? And my children, for me to step away from them was really hard, but they are who I have to fight for because they need a mum who is, who's the best mum that she can be. But I had to do it for me first. And yeah, coming here really, really showed me what support looks like and what it means to have people that, that want to back you, that are there for you. I have never met anybody or more of a crew of people that are so there, ready and willing to jump in and just back you all the way. And the spiritual side of it, that's what, that's what makes it stand out because God has everyone's back. For me, life now looks fulfilling, even though I haven't even really stepped into what it's got out there for me. I'm really excited. <laughs> it's actually got a, not just a purpose but I feel like my life's got value to it now which I never did before I felt so again inadequate but now I've actually I've worked out who I am and I'm so happy with who I am I've learned a new way of communicating I've learned a complete new way of doing life and doing life to its till its fullest